Auto's News Channel, we take you to Fort Logan National Cemetery in Denver. That's where 19 veterans were buried in their final resting place. But what makes this memorial so different is that no one in attendance knew these veterans. That's because no family ever came forward to claim their remains. Matt Croshaw shows us those who were there today made sure these heroes were not forgotten on this special day. The sounds. 19 of our abandoned veterans who have answered the call of duty, honor, country. The symbols. The sacrifice. And every time I come out here, it, uh, it gets emotional and uh, kind of chokes up. <laughs> All the things you'd expect to find at a burial service for military veterans. These people, their pain, it's for veterans they did not even know. It, it's hard and uh, taken out of a cardboard box, stuck in the back of a mortuary. You know, basically forgotten, unclaimed. It just makes me feel good that people are giving veterans respect and recognition. Pomeroy, Weston, Staff Sergeant, World War II. Present. The veterans interned here today at Fort Logan National Cemetery come from across Colorado. Communities coming together to help give the honor and respect these veterans deserve. Waterman, Vern, Ronald. Collectively, the veterans being honored here served in World War I, II, Korea, and Vietnam. Nineteen of our lost brothers are present and await committal. They used to be called the Forgotten Heroes. Not anymore. At Fort Logan National Cemetery, Matt Kroschel, CBS 4 News.